Yeah, um, for I am, we act, um, or who God says I am, um, our producer, Kentrell Reagan, dope producer, he actually, um, he's the one that wrote the song, and it was on his album for his church. Um, and I was like, yo, this song is so dope. Can we please use the song? Um, so he's like, yeah, cool, you go for it and use the song. And I remember I brought it to life, um, and they were complaining about how high it was. I am, I am God, I am, I am more than a conqueror, I am above and not in it, no weapon formed against me, I am chosen, yeah. I am. It's really awesome. It's been crazy to hear like kids coming to me and saying, I love the song I am. And then an older person coming to me and saying the same exact thing. Like it, it has reached everyone. It's, it makes, it builds confidence and boldness in everyone. It's, I am who God says I am. I'm anointed, I'm appointed, victorious, I'm, I'm, I'm delivered. Um, so it, I love that it can reach anyone. And that's what I really love about the song, Who God Says I Am. Very fun song. Very fun song. It's fun to sing now. <laughs> now. <laughs> There's some parts on that song that was challenging because it goes from like here to here and transitioning your voice smoothly was a little bit difficult but I had fun singing that song nonetheless. I Am was a song that was that something that is a song that we were was practicing during rehearsals during a time where I was doing my own individual um, devotions and studies on the, your identity in Christ and I thought it was very timely because I was um, reading into a lot in terms of the word and a lot of secondary books in terms of who we are in Christ and you know I felt like the song was such a fuel for my understanding. I can say I am impacting my life um, just because um, it's just such a great song that really speaks um, to my identity in Christ. God is the I am that I am and because that he is the I am that I am we can say I am healed, I am delivered, I am set free. So. It was very easy for us to catch that song, grasp it, and go on with it in the recording process. The song was very difficult for me, but um, the song, the song itself, is amazing. So it gives, it gives you the reassurance of who you are in Christ, basically. So I kind of went through a period of life where I wasn't too sure who I was, and you know, struggling with who people wanted me to be and who I thought I was and who God wanted me to be. And so, I mean. As I continue my walk with God, I kind of discovered that, you know, I am who God says I am. You know, ultimately that's what matters. And so this song kind of reiterates that concept and it's love it. Growing up, I had like experiences where people think this of me, I think that of me, and it would really affect me personally and allow me, and allow me to like, kind of like belittle myself and think that I'm not worthy, I'm not good enough. But when I realized that I am who God says I am, and his thoughts of, for me are, of only, are only good things. And that really encouraged me and really, it empowered me. It really, that song really empowers me. Singing that song, I don't like to just sing a song without knowing the meaning or meaning what I sing. So I really had to take time to think about who I am and who God says I am. It was really just uplifting when I guess I would feel down, just kind of um, bringing that thought back to mind that, you know what, no matter what I'm going through, I can overcome this. It reminds me that everything that I need, God is. It, it's almost something that I try to repeat every day to remind myself, wherever there's lack, He fills that void. You have to realize and understand who you are. And to understand who you are, you have to understand who God is, basically. If you read His Word, through every situation that you go through, there's a word for that, that has, God has given you. And you really have to understand who you are. It gives you power to overcome that situation. Yeah. Now everybody, yeah.